Hello Pisces, welcome to your 2021 outlook. We're going to be looking at what's coming your way in career and finances, as well as love in the year 2021. We're also going to be looking at what's the biggest lesson for you in 2021. And then we're going to take this to the extended, where we're going to dive in deep into the lesson, any other insight we can get on the lesson. We're going to uh, clarify every single tarot card in detail. And then we're also going to ask Spirit for the biggest challenge or obstacle in 2021 and what advice they have for that, as well as advice for love and advice for finances and career. So let's start with the major lesson. Spirits, angels, guides for Pisces, please, please provide messages for Pisces. What is the major lesson that Pisces will learn in 2021? And I'm gonna be using the Soul's Journey lesson cards for this. Major lesson for Pisces in 2021 spirit. What messages do you have for Pisces? Oh, that was quick. We got adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Now, I am going to be reading from the booklets for all of the oracle cards. So if you don't want to stick around for that, just fast forward. But I feel like there's some messages in these explanations for someone watching and I want them to have the opportunity to hear him. So let's see. No one ever said life was going to be easy. Obstacles are presented to you so that you may overcome them. Believe that you will, because if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. Confidence comes to those who have succeeded in conquering adversity, and then the next hurdle won't seem as daunting. Adversity is an opportunity for you to reach out to your soul family. You are not alone in this time of challenge. If you need help, others are waiting to offer assistance. This test may have come into your life to teach you to receive rather than to give. All right, Pisces. So obviously there's some sort of challenges or lessons that you will be learning in 2021. It'll be different for all of you. Um, this is, has been a common theme in all of the readings that I've done. Uh, for the other signs, there is either someone or something standing in the way of a goal or someone or something that's being used to teach us something in 2021. It's not gonna be an easy year for any of us, but it's gonna be a year of change and transformation and opportunity, and that's really exciting. So let's see what we get for you. Let's start with career and finances. What is coming their way in career and finances for the year 2021 for Pisces? Spirit, what is coming their way in career and finances in the year 2021 for Pisces, please? What is coming their way in career and finances in the year 2021? Oh, we got the thinking man, number 46. Hang on while I read that. This card shows a man standing before an archway, gazing at a crystal in his hand. He's a thoughtful and reflective man, representing the potential presence of a teacher in your life now, or about to arrive soon. This person may be there to educate you in the finer details of your chosen direction or may be there to assist you in some specific spiritual, mental, or emotional pursuits. This card is telling you to pay attention, for this could lead to great strides in personal or professional growth. This man may also be a love interest coming your way or perhaps just a new male friend, but be on the lookout for this guide in the physical world and be open to his information. Learn what you can. A new discipline, technique, course of study or healing practice could change your life forever. Okay, so you could be meeting someone or someone already in your midst that can affect uh, finances or career for you in 2021. Spirit is saying that this person is here to help you or to guide you. Um, and obviously it'll be up to you to receive that lesson or learn that lesson or use this uh, person or lesson to your advantage. So this could be a boss, a mentor. It could be literally a teacher, counselor, um, a coworker that teaches you something new. Uh, whatever the case may be, they're there for a reason, Pisces. 
Um, some of you could be studying something right now and are wrapping it up in 2021 and that can open doors for you. So let's get to the tarot. I'm using Wheel of the, of the Year Tarot. I thought it was appropriate. Uh, for the tarot cards, I'm pulling four cards for each subject, um, one for every quarter of the year, but I'm also looking at the message as a whole. And then we're gonna be looking at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy for the year. And we will be clarifying the overall energy in this video. For Pisces. What is coming their way in career or finance? What is coming their way in career and finance in the year 2021? Okay, it feels good. Let's see. Ace of Cups reversed. I'm telling you, every single, every single sign, the first card has been something that's not really positive or um, it's not, I don't know, it's just, there's either conflict or something like that. It's always the first card. <laughs> um, so we'll see what else you get. Disappointment here, Four of Swords, healing, rest, reflection, introspection, planning your next move here. Whatever happened um, here, uh, whatever offer didn't come your way or whatever disappointment this is, I feel like you are gonna be healing from that or at least thinking of it. Eight of Pentacles reverse, this could be related to work. Maybe you haven't been really focused or um, there's someone in your midst that is kind of interrupting work for you or maybe you haven't been as focused you know which makes sense given everything that's going on something is not working as well um, maybe you've been putting effort into something and it hasn't really paid off for you it's gonna be different for everyone oh and then we get death Scorpio energy so change an ending of some sort a lot of people, a lot of signs are getting this type of message of some sort of change. Scorpio energy here. So there's definitely something that will be ending or changing when it comes to career or finances for you. Bottom of the deck and the overall energy, we have the Empress reversed. So something's not manifesting or growing. We will be clarifying this to see what that's about. What this is telling me is that some of you may have invested somewhere uh, that did not fulfill you, did not grow, did not expand your, it's almost like it, it, it hasn't paid off. This is going to be for those of you who feel like you haven't grown, that your seeds have not been planted or grown. Um, maybe you've uh, been learning something or working on something and it just has not manifested in the way that you hoped tell me about the empress reversed for pisces why is the empress reversed let's see why is the empress reversed for pisces oh. five of swords yeah i keep getting this card five of swords something or someone is not on there's defeat or failure or a loss here. Um, someone could be taking advantage of a situation or sabotaging your success. This could also be, um, you know, maybe you find out that someone is not your friend or it does not have your best interests at heart. Tell me about the Empress Reverse. Six of Cups reversed. Interesting. Someone, um, maybe you're thinking a little bit too much of the past. Let's see. Let's see what else I get before I continue. Tell me more about the Empress reverse for Pisces. The Star reversed. Aquarius energy. Okay, so that's okay. Let me get one more. One more, please, for the Empress Reverse. Something feels hopeless. Some of you may be neglecting yourselves. You could even be having health issues 
or someone around you. Yeah, Ten of Cups reverse. So there's something that is not fulfilling you emotionally. There could be family issues or something to do with um, home. I feel like a lot of you have been kind of stuck in the past um, or something regarding the past is still affecting you now emotionally or financially um, or career wise. This, is, this can mean a lot of different things. Um, but with the star reverse, I'm getting the sense that some of you, something didn't work out and it's like you are wanting to give up or are losing faith that something is going to pan out for you. I feel like a lot of you are just very, it's like maybe you had a dream or an idea and it just did not go the way that you hoped. And it's been kind of like heartbreaking and it's just profoundly disappointing. Some of you have really taken it to heart. I don't think you fully healed from this. This could also be that someone um, betrayed you or deceived you, whether it was work or whether it was something regarding money. Someone could have even stolen from you. Um, uh, someone was trying to sabotage your success and maybe you didn't expect it. Let me get one more for Pisces here. And you know, Spirit is saying that this is meant to be a lesson or a challenge that you learn from or that takes you somewhere else. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Hold on, that's way too many. Tell me about this Five of Swords, please. Why is the Five of Swords here? Eight of Cups reversed. Yeah, some of you, I feel like you haven't really left a situation, even though you probably should have. Um, some of you could even be um, hoping to, well, I don't know if you're hoping to return to something. It's almost like someone tried to block your departure or, or block your moving ahead or moving forward. Ace of Cups, yeah, I feel like someone tried to get in the way of you going after what makes you happy or what would fulfill you. I'm also getting that some of you, you know, this Ace of Cups, it's almost like you probably did not take this opportunity. Maybe you delayed or hesitated in taking an opportunity or in going after what you truly wanted. I have the Nine of Cups also at the bottom of the deck here. I feel like some of you may have not taken this offer or, or perhaps someone got in the way of you taking this offer. Yes, there's regrets here. This could have been a past offer or it could be um, something happening now where it's like, I feel like you're at a precipice here. You're at a threshold here. I think you've given up on the idea of ever being truly happy or content or satisfied or, or stable. And I don't think that's true. I think that's all in your head. I think your regrets over the past are overwhelming you and are blocking your, your future here. Because I feel like you can be happy. You can have emotional fulfillment. So it's going to be different. Um, some of you have someone that's trying to block this for you. This could even be someone that's kind of in your ear like, oh, you could never make that happen or that's too risky. You shouldn't go for that. Or um, maybe it's someone at work that tried to go for the same promotion you did or something like that. Let me know in the comments if that resonates for you. Um, but I feel like this is going to be the main um, situation this year is you need to fight your thoughts of the past and not let a challenge overcome you. You know, this is a chance for you to use that challenge as momentum. I feel like if you do, you will get some sort of emotional fulfillment or satisfaction. Like you will be able to get this Ace of Cups. It just is gonna require some sort of departure here, which I don't think you're, you're, you're making it. You're not leaving anything right now. This could be you wanting to return to the same old, same old, or this could be you that you're blocked from leaving. And I feel like there's only regret there because this could have been something really special or this could have really fulfilled you or been good for you. There's definitely something changing or ending for you in terms of career or finances because something's not working. And I feel like you're going to figure that out in 2021. And maybe this thinking man is going to appear at the right time to maybe make you some sort of offer here or teach you something that you can use to your advantage because something here wherever you're at right now you're not going to grow or manifest there there's something missing or you're investing in the wrong thing right now 
So let's see, what about love? What's coming their way in love spirit in the year 2021 for Pisces? What is coming their way in love in the year 2021? What's coming their way in love in the year 2021? Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations keep or help bring you together. So you're manifesting something here in regards to love, a soulmate energy. Um, maybe you already have someone in mind or you want someone to show up for you. Let's see. What does the tarot say? Spare what's coming their way in love in the year 2021 for Pisces. What is coming their way in love? There could also be challenges in love as well because I have that adversity card. Challenges are the best way to learn. So there could be some lessons being learned. We'll see what's coming their way in love for Pisces, please, Spirit. What's coming their way in love? Oh. Ace of Swords. Some sort of clarity, communication. Interesting. The Hierophant. Wow. Taurus energy. This is commitment. Could be talking to someone in a serious way. Could be some sort of news or, or some sort of message that comes in about commitment here marriage possibly oh and then have the two of cups reversed hmm some sort of disconnect with the partner here three of cups interesting a reunion a coming together celebration maybe you have someone that um, whether you're single and meeting someone new or whether you're already with a partner I feel like there's going to be some serious conversations about where is this headed there could even be an engagement maybe you're not on the same page about marriage or wedding plans or commitment maybe there's something there about like maybe you're not seeing eye to eye with the two of cups reverse there could also be a third party here with the Three of Cups and the Two of Cups reverse. Maybe one of these two people get chosen here. Bottom of the deck and the overall energy is the Seven of Pentacles reverse. So again, another card. This is very similar to the Empress reverse. This is a card about something's not growing or manifesting in the way that you hoped or something here. The seeds are not, you know, in, in the right soil or maybe there's been too much time invested somewhere uh, maybe there's frustration let's clarify this one and see this could be a long-term uh, commitment that you've been in perhaps you want to uh, move it forward or perhaps you've been investing in the wrong people and you haven't met your person Maybe you feel like you wasted your time with someone or wasted your time dating around or let's see Tell me about the seven of Pentacles reverse For Pisces Why is this seven of Pentacles reverse? King of Cups reversed. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reverse? The Magician. There's that manifesting. You've been manifesting a soulmate here. Two of Wands. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles reverse. It's almost like you feel like, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm getting this very like frustrated energy. Uh, disappointment here. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles reverse. I, I think it's due to the fact that something's not manifesting. 
something's just not happening yeah queen of cups reverse king of cups reverse you know this could be a partnership where you know if a lot of time has happened or there it has been a long term commitment or a long term relationship there could have been a, a couple of things that have happened here between you this is a partnership that is not doing very well um they're not on the same page and emotionally um you know there's a lot of hurt here I feel like some of you are butting heads with your person or butting heads with love. It's like nothing is really working out for you in love. It just leads to disappointment. I feel like there's going to be a very important conversation next year, like a life-changing one. Because I feel like a lot of you are going to have to make a choice with the two of wands regarding love. Let me see. Can I get one more for this two of wands? Tell me more about this two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? The devil. Capricorn energy. Tell me more about the two of wands. Maybe this has become unhealthy or there's unhealthy behavior here or unhealthy tendencies. This could even be like obsession, lust, temptation as well for some of you. Like you're obsessed with the idea of finding someone or obsessed with the state of your relationship. Knight of Cups reverse. Okay, so some I feel like some something or someone is just not it's not happening. It's like I don't know. It's like uh, emotionally there's something off here. Um, there could be someone that's telling you exactly what you want to hear and perhaps it's very, um, it's not the most healthiest of connections. Um, I feel like some of you are making a decision based off of your personal happiness. Yeah, the chariot reversed. Something is not progressing. Ten of Pentacles reverse. I don't know what's going on for you Pisces but I feel like this decision is is you're making a decision because either something is unhealthy or something's not working out I get one more for this two of wands seven of cups reverse this could have been a, a wrong choice here or perhaps you're finally making a decision with clarity here yep six of swords some of you could be leaving uh, something behind because it has not panned out for you. This could even be someone new that you meet and you kind of find out quickly that it's not going anywhere. Um, this could be you dating after a, a breakup or separation because maybe you're just interested in something real, something that is uh, leading towards commitment. Um, so, I mean, it could be that too. But I feel like you're making a very, uh, it's like out of the fog, there is clarity. And that's that Ace of Swords. And that has to do with some sort of move or departure. Very interesting. But I feel like um, some of you are definitely going to manifest a soulmate. Um, like I'm still feeling that. I just feel like it's almost like whoever you are with right now, if you are with someone, it's that's not it that's not going to be your soulmate or there's something off about that something needs to be fixed there maybe you have to date around to find someone because the seven of cups could uh, symbolize that there's several options that you have and it's all about making the right choice with a clear head um, not being distracted by whatever's shiny or whatever is you know maybe the the chemistry is really hot and heavy or perhaps there's some red flags there. You need to be clear about that. Because I feel like this magician is upright with the calling in your soulmate. So I feel like you will be manifesting something. It's just going to require a choice. A very specific choice here. And right now, I don't think that choice... It's almost like you're making this choice out of heartbreak or disappointment. You know? So I, I feel like something does not... Something has to fall apart in order to come together. That's kind of what I'm picking up here. So I'm going to take this to the extended. We're going to clarify every single tarot card as well as the major lesson. We're going to ask Spirit for advice for finances and career. 
advice for love and then we'll also look at the biggest challenge for the year 2021 and how you can meet or overcome that challenge so if that sounds good to you check out the link to the extended it's listed down below this video in the description box first link there um, the extendeds this time around are you can only purchase them you cannot rent them because I want you to have access to them the entire year and they're pretty long they're about 25 to 30 minutes on average so you're gonna get a lot of information there and you can kind of check back throughout the year keep in mind that this is not a final reading by any means this is not set in stone um, this does not mean that this is exactly what's gonna happen in 2021 because we all have free will we can all choose to do to do something completely different or make different decisions or choose different paths meet different people maybe you don't even listen to this person or maybe you don't make a decision and that can affect the outcome for 2021 but i think it's important to look at these um, to see what messages spirit has so that we are better prepared to deal with whatever's coming so i hope you enjoyed this reading hit the like button button and subscribe if you enjoyed my readings or want to see more readings like this um, thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, shared, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. All of the decks that I use are down in the description box. Don't forget to leave me a message if you want to claim this reading or if there's something in here that resonated with you. I'd love to hear from you and I will see you all in another video. Take care.